Okay, so I don't really have a good video made up, but we installed this Wall McLean uh, Ultra, Ultra 4, um, and here's a couple little clips that we took of it. Okay. Oh well, here we go. You ready? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. That's pretty sweet. Thank you. You're very welcome. Good job. Good job while I was away. You see, that's what it's like working for Mikey Pipes. We're one big happy family and you get paid. 9.40 in the morning. We're wiggling into place. We want to clear the fresh air intake, which is the one on the left and the exhaust, which is on the right. One thing that they forgot to accommodate for is this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have to dip it low. Just push the whole thing into me. All right. Oh, very, very sneaky there. Very, very sneaky. Now he's got to get. Hmm. Hmm. Daniel's Daniel's very confident here. Does this thing move out of the way? No. The low water, move the cut. Take the low water cutoff out. Well, but still, because oh. it twists this that way. Yeah. Hmm. Things are making go. Hmm. I can hear the the squirrel cage with the little rodent inside spinning like this. It's the wheels are turning. The wheels are turning. Yeah, I guess you could do that. Okay, so right now me and Peter are just making sure everything runs smoothly. Uh, the domestic tank is running and that pulls off the primary manifolds. So the space heating loops don't get heat until this satisfies. But we weren't moving water properly. Uh, it was pulling for the domestic tank it would reach temperature it would short cycle over and over and over and over and over and over and over it'd be like it read 180 and then go down to read 120 180 120 180 120 because our circulator out of the box came dead from wild mclean so this is a brand new taiko 0014 and out of the box it was dead so we put in a 0015 ECM circulator, which you can do if you adjust the settings on here to have the circulator come on early and shut off later. Uh, because when it starts up, it doesn't immediately turn on. It takes a second. So it keeps the boiler from overheating. But we're going to clean up and just make sure everything runs smoothly. And almost forgot one of the most important things, and that's treating the boiler with Sentinel X100. It's mandatory for all of Wild McLean's boilers. So it's an easy inject uh, spray, and I'll show you how it goes in. Okay, so I got the adapter hooked up to the boiler drain that's included with the boiler. Oh, make it tighter. Popped right out. <clears throat> then you open up the boiler water <coughs> and it feeds it in and here we are the finished product Wal McLean pipe doctor 
new low water cutoff. Uh, the pressure relief valve is now in the proper orientation with a drip leg that's two inches off the ground. New circulator, new triticator gauge, and existing zone set up with this zone relay that is upside down due to the fact that that's how the wiring was. And I think it looks pretty good. The tank is satisfied at temperature. Just need to pop that cover back on on the uh, Aquastat.